I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road I'm gonna ride till I can't no more I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road I'm gonna ride till I can't no more What's going on guys? It's your boy Reese or Meme of the Week. Today we're here with some gossip, some feuds that have just came out of nowhere. And that's right, if you couldn't tell from the intro, we're talking about Old Town Road from Lil Nas X and um, Billy Ray Cyrus. I, I recently learned that apparently there's fucking like six remixes of this. There's also one with Dolly Parton to be coming out. Um, even Lil Wayne, there's a leaked one of Lil Wayne that's out. So it's uh, some. It's a strange world that we live in. The fact that a song can be remixed seven times by the same dude and a remix is literally just uh, redoing it, like redoing a verse of a different person. Uh, it's... It's, it befuddles the fuck out of me. Old Town Road, to this day, and I'm recording on uh, July 31st, 2019, is the longest running track in US to be on the number one charts. Well, to be on number one on the uh, top rated charts or whatever the fuck it is. I don't really focus on that music, to be honest. I listen to stuff that I enjoy, like Nursery Rhymes and Johnny Can't Decide by Tick Tick Boom, the musical. If anyone understood that joke, please leave a comment down below, because I don't think many of you will have. It's not to say that with success, people are not going to try to leech off you. As you can imagine, people have been trying to leech off a little Nas from day one, uh, recently just making the headlines, in fact. Someone's suing uh, Lil Nas, at least the record company that released a song from Bobby Caldwell called Carry On. They're suing him for 25 million dollars usd that in australian is like fucking 30 million probably even more than 30 i can't even tell you to be honest i know that it's a lot but they're suing that because they are saying that he copied his music pretty much that he copied the song so let's have a quick listen to that right now let's have a quick listen to this song and uh let's not get copyrighted hopefully well we'll probably get copyrighted but uh you know what are you gonna what are you gonna do eh? what are you gonna what are you gonna do I like it more than Old Town Road already. Already I do. Okay, I've already decoded it that it's just purely the company trying to get money off Sony Music. It's literally not even fucking close to being the same as, as, uh, as the masterpiece that is Old Town Road. On to the main topic of this video. So, there's... An artist or a rapper, I should say, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to go as far as to call him an artist, who is called Lil Tracy. Lil Tracy is uh, similar to Lil Nas in the fact that they do this newly founded uh, genre of like country hip-hop. Uh, it's fucking such a strange genre, it's a strange thing to listen to, but that is what trends at the moment. Apparently that's what gets people excited. He released a song before Lil Nas's Old Town Road uh, that was called Like a Farmer, and... Whilst it is similar to Old Town Road, it is not the exact same. And let's get a little bit into exactly why that is. Let's listen to Like a Farmer for a little bit. Okay, so... I've just listened to him uh, 53 seconds precisely, and I can say that is fucking terrible. Let's listen to Old Town Road, and this is definitely the one that's going to get me copyrighted. Okay, so the similarities are without a doubt there, but that also creates the argument of every fucking song is similar and everything's been done before, so it's a matter of change it to your own unique way, which I believe Lil Nas has done. We know that Lil Nas has taken some evidence, or well, we, ha we have the evidence that Lil Nas has taken some inspiration, I should say, from Lil Tracy's Like a Farmer, because uh, recently Lil Nas had a Spotify playlist, which is deleted now, which had a list of different songs that inspired him to make Lil, uh, fucking Lil Nas, I'm talking about. 
to make Old Town Road. And uh, Lil Tracy, Like a Farmer, that was indeed on that list. Let's talk about this real quickly. The production quality for Old Town Road is a thousand times better, as you can imagine, as a number one hit. It's going to have to be. Uh, there's, if you listen to the two tracks, there's a huge distinguishment between them. I'll put the links in the description for both the tunes. Uh, the lyrics are extremely similar, obviously, but that's the idea of this country western shit. What the fuck else is a western going to sing about? They drink their grog that has three X's on it, and they go home and beat their wife and wear cowboy boots that have knives in them. That's kind of what a fucking westerner does. Right boot. Another thing is they're both two minutes long. I just realized that both the tunes are, well, uh, Little Far Like a Farmer is exactly two minutes and Old Town Road is two minutes and 37. So he's got the up game by 37 seconds. But Lil Nas also stated the reason why he had it so short because he wanted it to be as short as possible so it'd be a single that could be digested quickly. And obviously he's digesting, he's digesting, digestion, whatever the fuck the word is, my stuttering's off the charts today, off the charts. Yeah, he's he's definitely shelved this product down your throat and people are listening to it, as we can see, because it's number one. Like, we've got artists like Drake, Post Malone, uh, fucking Justin Bieber and Ed Sheeran have teamed up to beat him and they've had literally no no luck doing it all. Uh, they still have, can't get Old Town Road off the uh, off the number one. Plus, as we know, there's a bunch of remixes coming out with fucking Dolly Parton. So, it's, we're probably going to be hearing about this for uh, quite a while. Now, the two rappers obviously do have some beef. And that shit's been posted. As we see, uh, Lil Tracy posted a screenshot of the DMs of the two. Um, as we can see right here. Want to hop on Old Town Road? That's what... Uh, Lil Nas X said to Lil Tracy, Lil Tracy said, Yeet, uh, Yeet is the code for yes, apparently. So I don't know what the fuck we've come to. And he said, Bruh, why'd you, why'd you tweet that? I've been trying to get you on this song. He said, Get me on it. So obviously, Lil Tracy tweeted something talking shit about Lil Nas X. I'm so sick of saying Lil this and Lil that, these names. Fucking hell. They're no longer friends, I, I think it's safe to say. They're no longer friends. Here also is a clip of Lil Tracy uh, saying fuck Old Town Road just before he plays his song Like a Farmer at his uh, Chicago show. He definitely is digging into what he can. He's letting them know that he's not happy. He's letting... Uh, Lil Nas know at least that he's not happy. In conclusion, do I believe that Lil Nas copied Lil Tracy? No, I don't. And I think that anyone that does believe that is a, a bit of a fucking idiot. He's a bit of a loony. He should be in the loony bin back with all the other loonies, I guess. In music, you cannot say that someone copied it like that unless it's directly the same chord, chord progression and the lyrics have been changed to like one word every sentence. Then they have not copied it, pretty much. So... Yeah, that's my conclusion. They have not copied each other. No one's copied anyone. Um, it's obviously just Lil Nas having a great amount of success and Lil Tracy trying to leech a bit of that. As you can see, you would. if You'd probably do the exact same thing. If you made a song that was inspired by someone who then got to number one on the charts all around the world and is fucking living up all the success from it, you're probably going to do the exact same and try to get your 2% of their... 100% of viewers or whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I just wanted to talk about this. I saw the shit was trending and I thought I'd like to get my view on it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my playlists. I've got commentaries. I've got meme of the week. I've got skits that I do. Plenty more shit coming. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Peace. See ya. Yeah, I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road I'm gonna ride till I can't no more I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road I'm gonna ride till I can't no more